Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about the Mac OS Sonoma 14.3 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple today released Mac OS Sonoma 14.3, the third major update to the Mac OS Sonoma operating system that came out last September. Mac OS Sonoma 14.3 comes over a month after the release of Mac OS Sonoma 14.2. To update your Mac to Mac OS 14.3, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This Mac OS Sonoma 14.3 update size is around 1.55 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.3, and the build number is 23D56. macOS Sonoma 14.3 introduces enhancements to Apple Music, as well as other features, bug fixes, and security updates for your Mac. macOS Sonoma 14.3 also brings collaborative playlists to Apple Music, so that Apple Music subscribers can create playlists with friends and family members. The software also has an updated Apple Care and Warranty section in Settings that shows coverage for all devices signed in with an Apple ID. Now moving forward and talking about the security content of macOS Sonoma 14.3. Apple security documents reference vulnerabilities by CVE ID when possible, as detailed by Apple on its Security Releases webpage. A total of 16 vulnerabilities are fixed in macOS Sonoma 14.3, including a WebKit bug believed to be exploited already. Now talking about each security fix regarding Apple Neural Engine, which was impacted by an app's ability to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding Core Crypto, which was impacted as an attacker may be able to decrypt legacy RSA PKCS1 version 1.5 ciphertext without having the private key. A timing side channel issue was addressed with improvements to constant time computation in cryptographic functions. Regarding Finder, which was impacted as an app may be able to access sensitive user data. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding Kernel, which was impacted as an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding LLVM, which was impacted by processing web content, which may lead to arbitrary code execution. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding mail search, which was impacted as an app may be able to access sensitive user data. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. Regarding NS Spell Checker, which was impacted as, as an app may be able to access sensitive user data. Regarding Safari, which was impacted as a user's private browsing activity may be visible in settings. A privacy issue was addressed with improved handling of user preferences. Regarding shortcuts, which were impacted as a shortcut may be able to use sensitive data with certain actions without prompting the user. Also, an app may be able to bypass certain privacy preferences. The issue was addressed with additional permissions checks, and a privacy issue was addressed with improved handling of temporary files. Regarding TCC, which was impacted, as an app may be able to access user-sensitive data. An issue was addressed with improved handling of temporary files. Regarding the time zone, that was impacted, an app may be able to view a user's phone number in system logs. This issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. And now lastly, regarding the WebKit, that was impacted, as a maliciously crafted web page may be able to fingerprint the user. Processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited. An access issue was addressed with improved access restrictions. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Multiple memory corruption issues were addressed with improved memory handling, and a type confusion issue was addressed with improved checks. So, that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical to the previous one. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, 
just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.